Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, we are going to start this new course. You know that um, we are going to begin with a new and interesting um, course. We are going to work for a month. Uh, with different topics that we have on the platform. You know that we are going to work on the platform, but also uh, we are going to uh, learn different things in the session. And the first thing that I'm going to do today is to uh, introduce myself because um, I know that it's very important for you to uh, know who is the person that is in front of you and who is the person that is, is going to be in charge of this a uh, whole month in which we are going to work on the different topics um but first uh it's raining so hard right now here in my um in the place in which i am living so if you listen some kind of uh, sounds or different things uh, it's because it's raining and it's raining kind of hard so it is not light it's going to be dangerous but in this case it's, it's kind of hard so, the first thing is that I'm going to uh, introduce myself. Lo primero que vamos a hacer, en este caso vamos a tratar de hacerlo también, ¿verdad? En español y ya luego nos enfocamos más que todo al inglés. Mi nombre es Elena Chavarría. Yo soy la persona que va a estar a cargo de este curso. Eh, vamos a estar trabajando eh, un mes completo, ¿verdad? Eh, con estos temas, con eh, lo que es, ¿verdad? el curso de inglés que tenemos para este mes. Entonces, yo voy a ser la persona que va a estar aquí enfrente de ustedes eh, tratando de darles cosas nuevas, ¿verdad? Tratando de, de darles eh, nueva información. Vamos a trabajar temas gramaticales, vamos a trabajar eh, temas un poco, we can say like kind of boring, but they are very necessary for us to um, learn English. So in this case, we are going to see a lot of information. Vamos a ver un montón de información. Vamos a tratar de, de cubrir, ¿verdad? Toda la información necesaria para poder um, entender mejor, ¿verdad? Lo que es este, este idioma. We're not just going to, um, to learn vocabulary. We're not going to uh, understand how to create a, a simple sentence. In this case, we are going to see a lot of information that is going to be very useful in the daily life, or in this case, to make uh, conversations that are very natural. So in this case, we are going to have like the platform, the information on the platform, but also we are going to have more information that I have for you. And we are going to have this kind of, um, like kind of work, but also, We are going to um, we are going to do something, and in this case, I like to work with um, online documents. But give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I was saying that we are going to work with an online document in which uh, we are going to have all the information that we are going to develop in this course. Vamos a trabajar en un documento en línea. En este caso, yo les voy a compartir el enlace a ustedes eh, con toda la información que vamos a estar viendo en el curso. En este caso, usted no va a tener que descargar documentos eh, extra con la información que vamos a estar eh, resolviendo, de la, la información que vamos a utilizar eh, en el curso, usted no va a de descargar ningún otro documento, sino que simplemente usted va a entrar al enlace que yo le voy a enviar y ahí mismo usted va a tener todo lo que vamos a estar hablando, ¿verdad? Durante el curso y también 
ahí vamos a tener todos los ejercicios, todos los ejemplos, and all of the information. So you are going to pay attention to the, to the sessions, and then you can uh, check the information that we have on the document. So in this case, if you need to read something or you need to um, practice something, you are going to enter the link and then you are going to find the, the whole information there. So you are not going to write anything in this case because you are going to have that document in which you are going to see the information. Así que vamos a tener ese documento en línea en el que ustedes van a poder accesar a él al momento que ustedes quieran. Eh, se actualiza el solo, así que no es necesario que ustedes pues esperen mucho tiempo para que se actualice la información. Eh, y no van a descargar nada más, simplemente van a entrar al enlace que yo les voy a enviar y ahí va a estar el documento durante el mes completo. E incluso va a estar ahí esa información. Después de que haya terminado el curso, usted puede seguir entrando y ver el, la información en el documento. So in this case, you need to pay attention to the information that we are going to develop in this course. And then you can check the information that we have on the document and you can like um, understand better the information that we are going to do in this course. So it's a pleasure to me to be here with you in this course. So we're going to begin um, because we have just one hour and we are going to try to develop two topics um, this week. So we are going to have four days in which we're going to have two topics or three because you know that we need to complete the section number one and section number two of the platform. Vamos a tratar de terminar la sección 1 y sección 2 de la plataforma, así que vamos a tratar de trabajar todos los temas que vienen en, esos, en, en esas dos secciones. Eh, otra cosa, eh, lo más seguro es que yo esté entrando cinco minutos antes de la hora. Quiere decir que yo voy a estar a las 7.55 conectada para los que eh, quieran entrar a esa hora, para los que gusten entrar a esa hora, porque yo tengo otro grupo a las 9. Entonces, eh, para a, aprovechar el tiempo, voy a entrar a esa hora para eh, tener la hora completa. Si usted no puede entrar a esa hora, no se preocupe. Usted va a entrar a la hora que comúnmente lo hace. Don't worry about that, but I need to do it because I have like the other group, so I need to, to uh, have the, the, the complete hour. So we are going to begin, and I'm going to show you what is the document that I was uh, uh, talking about. And... Uh, I have something for you, and we are going to do it every week. And in this case, I like to share this kind of uh, things with you every Monday. I search uh, like an image with a, a strong message for you, and I'm going to show this kind of messages uh, every Monday. So in this case, we are talking about the beginning of the week. So for today, or in this case, for this week, we have the following uh, statement. And it said, I believe in myself, so anything is possible. So I'm going to do this kind of things every uh, Monday. So you are going to find four different images on the document. When you can check the, the, the document, you are going to find this kind of information. And uh, it is just for Mondays, just to begin the week. But in this case, you know that it is, uh, right now it's night, but you are going to do this um, or you are going to apply this information uh, from the next day. So we're going to have this kind of phrases that are uh, good for us to achieve our goals. So in this case, we need to believe in ourselves. So in this case, we can complete all the things that we want to do in our life. So. In this case, we are going to begin with uh, the topic number one. And I'm going to write here, what is the name of, it, uh, of the topic? But in this case, I'm going to do this one a little bit bigger like this. So the topic that we are going to develop is introduce yourself. So in this case, we are talking about how to introduce ourselves when we are meeting new people. And we are not going to do the same thing as we do when we are like learning English for the first time. So in that case, we just said, 
hello, my name is, and I am, and I live in, and my hobbies are. So in that case, it's not like that way. We are going to see a conversation, but give me a second. I'm going to uh, look for the platform. Vamos a entrar a la plataforma a ver el ejemplo. So we are going to um, watch a video in which we have this kind of um, presentations. So in this case, we are going to see how to introduce ourselves. And also, we are going to talk about how to introduce other people. Aquí no simplemente hablamos de presentarnos nosotros, sino también hablamos de presentar a otras personas. How can we introduce different people, maybe in a meeting, maybe in a party, or maybe in, I don't know, is in our jobs, because it's very important that we can apply this information in our um, environment. Eh, aquí vamos a hablar, ¿verdad?, de cómo podemos hacer para uh, no solo presentarnos nosotros, sino que a otras personas, y lo vamos a aplicar tanto en la vida diaria como en nuestro trabajo. You know that we are working and we are in a different um, kind of environment. Uh, when we are like very, very young, I'm not saying that we are not young. I, I'm talking about like teenagers or something like that. Um, we just have a couple of friends and we go and say, hey, my name is... And we make a lot of friends when we are like in that um, age. But now we have to um, understand how to use this information to create like very professional uh, groups in this case. Eh, ¿Cómo podemos nosotros, verdad, um, abordar, verdad, personas profesionales? ¿O cómo podemos hacer para eh, conocer nuevas personas ya siendo adultos? Because in this case, it's related to, to being an adult to, to speak in this language. In Spanish, it's completely different because we uh, know how to use the words in Spanish because this is a mother language. But in English, it's completely different because we are going to learn how to use this information um, when we are talking with other people. But in this case, the platform is not charging. So give me a couple of minutes. No está cargando, así que me van a dar un par de minutos. Because we need to, to listen the conversation. Okay, I think it's not going to function right now. Well, in this case, we are going to see. Um, in this case, you know that maybe you are thinking, ah, I'm going to uh, introduce myself and I'm going to say what is my name or something like that. But in this case, I just um, want to show you how to do it like in a different way. But I think this is not going to work. So give me a moment. I don't think it's because it's raining, but the connection is kind of low. Because here in my place, it's kind of difficult when it, it is like raining. So we need to be very patient. Yes, that is because I am like uh, waiting for this uh, platform to charge. So in that case, it's going to be kind of weird, the image. Okay, it is here. Okay, we are in section one and we are going to see and also listening the first conversation in which we have the following question. 
Where are you from? So we are going to pay attention to the information. So let's see. Hello everyone, welcome to the pre-intermediate course. This is section one. Please call me Beth. In this lesson, participants will learn how to introduce themselves and others by listening to a conversation between two people who just met and are introducing each other. Hi everyone, welcome to this class. We will learn how to introduce ourselves and others. For you to learn how to do so, you need to listen to the following audio program. Remember that you may listen to the audio as many times as you need to and don't forget to practice it as well. Let's pay attention. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Son He is here. Who's Son He? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. -A. Call me Beth. Okay. Okay, in this case, we have this conversation. And if you can see, we have like a kind of a party in which they are like talking like very, um, we can say like uh, it is not something very formal. So they are just having a conversation and they are meeting new people. So in the, at the beginning, we have the uh, presentation or the introduction of David. So he said, hello, my, or in this case, it, he is not saying my name is. He is just saying, I am David Garza. I am a new club member. So in this case, we are not using the typical uh, phrases that we use to introduce ourselves. Because um, when we're talking about the uh, typical phrases, we can say like, um, my, hello, my name is. In this case, we are saying, I am. Just like that. I am David Garza. Then it says, hi, my name. Here's we have the typical phrase. My name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. In this case, we are adding something new. We are adding a name that we like to be called. In este caso, estamos viendo um, el uso de frases que nos pueden servir para presentarnos. En el primero, simplemente nosotros decimos, yo soy David eh, y yo soy un miembro nuevo del club. Y también podemos decir, mi nombre es Elizabeth, pero a mí me gusta que me llamen Beth. In that case, we are adding more information to these typical phrases that we have to introduce ourselves. And there we have the question, where are you from? Estamos preguntando, ¿verdad? De los lugares de los que somos. And in this case, she is from Brazil. And we have another question. How about you? ¿Y tú de dónde eres? I am from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Um, oh, good. So he is here. Y aquí empezamos, ¿verdad? A hablar de los conocidos, de los amigos. Who is son he? She is my classmate. We are in the same math class. What is she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what is your last name again? Garcia. Actually, is Garza. Aquí también empezamos con esto. Tell me, Jose. Can I say uh, this is Jose Jimenez in my case? Oh, yes, yo you... soy Jose. I don't know. Can you 
Maybe no, please? in this case, you can use different phrases to present yourself. You can say, ah, oh, hello, this is uh, Jose Jimenez. Okay, uh, nice you. to meet you. You're welcome. Okay. Or okay. you can say, I am Jose Jimenez, and I, I like uh, people call me uh, Jose or another name that you like to be called. Or you can say, I am, or my name is, and it's a pleasure to be here in this meeting. You can use different forms to present yourself or to introduce yourself. But in this case, I need you to think about a presentation. You are going to introduce yourself, but also you are going to introduce something, uh, I mean, someone else. Vamos a presentarnos a nosotros, pero también vamos a presentar a otra persona. Puede ser alguna de las personas que están en la reunión o puede ser alguna otra persona. That is not like... Uh, we have this kind of restrictions. Uh, for example, I can say, hello, I am Elena Chavarria. I am the in charge of this course. Um, I am from Usulotan. Um, it's a pleasure to be here in these uh, sessions. And I want to introduce my uh, co-worker. Uh, his name is M Miguel Santos. He is from San Miguel. And he wants to meet you because he is very interested in the process that you are living in this moment. Something like that. Podemos hacer ese tipo de, um, de acciones. Me presento yo, presento a otra persona, ya puede, puede ser una persona de la reunión o alguien de afuera. So, in this case, for the activity, para la actividad, Vamos a tomarnos cinco minutos para poder pensar en qué es lo que vamos a decir. ¿Cómo me voy a presentar? Ya vimos que tenemos diferentes formas de presentarnos. Y también, ¿cómo vamos a presentar a otros? So, in this case, it is, let me see, A22, A27, we are going to begin with the introductions. Vamos a empezar a las 8.27 con las introducciones. So, let's think about the, the information that you are going to give and the presentation of the other person. So we are going to begin right now.
Okay, we're going to see uh, the uh, moment in which we are going to practice, introduce ourselves, and also uh, someone that we want to, um, the other people meet. So we are going to see who is the person that is going to begin. Uh, we are going to try to um, have a, a specific moment or a moment for uh, everyone to, to practice. So let me see. Uh, okay, I have here a kind of um, a couple of letters. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are going to begin with Mario. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Mario. I am 32 years old. And currently I work on Concentrics. So I don't know what I say about me. So I like to play video games and practice surf and skateboarding. So I think that is all. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you. So give me another name, Mario. Okay, let me see. I'm going to choose um, maybe Jose Jimenez. Okay, Jose Jimenez, it's your turn. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, I am Jose Jimenez. I am from San Miguel. Currently working in San Salvador for Meliora as a production planner. Um, uh, we are, uh, I don't know, that, that's, that's all I have. Okay, uh, good. <laughs> don't worry. It's excellent. So give me another name, Jose. Okay, so que, uh, Idalia Salguero. Okay, thank you, Idalia. Hello, um, I am Idalia Salguero. I'm from Tesalte, Tesalte Peque. Um, but please call me Ida. Um, and this, this is my friend, Alejandra Bonilla. She is chef. Okay, thank you. Excellent, Idalia. Tell me another name. Uh, um, Elizabeth. Okay, Enrique. thank you. <laughs> okay, Elizabeth, it's your turn. Hello, I am Elizabeth Rivera, but please call me Ellie. I'm from San Salvador, and I'm excited to start this class. Oh, very good, excellent. Tell me another name, Elizabeth. Susana Rodriguez. Okay, thank you, Susana. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hey, guys. Uh, my name is Susana Rodriguez, but I like to um, be called Sue. I am from the city of Sonsonate, Sonsonate City. Uh, um, I am uh, my my favorite hobby is reading romantic or mystery novels. I like is because reading, transport, and other reality. Yeah. So let's... <laughs> okay, thank you. Excellent job. Tell me another name. Mm. Uh, Gilbert Gutierrez. Okay, thank you, Gilbert. Hello, everyone. My name is Gilbert Leodan Gutierrez, but please call me Gilbert. Okay. I'm from Sonsonate City. Nice to meet you. Good. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Tell me another name. Uh, Jacqueline Mejia. Okay. Thank you, Jacqueline. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. My name. My name is Jacqueline Adriana Mejia. I am 20, 22. I live in, in Susanate. Okay, good, excellent. Tell me another name. Ana Lucia. 
Okay, thank you. Hello. Hello. Good evening. My name is Ana Lucia Monroy. I live in Sansonate. Uh, I am 60 years old. I work in the Cameron Hotel. My favorite hobby is listening to music. That's good. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Uh, give me another name. Oscar Gonzalez. Okay, thank you. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Oscar Gonzalez. I am from uh, Sonsonate. Uh, my favorite food is Mexican food. Uh, I hope I hope to learn a lot in this class. Oh, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Another name? Alberto Martinez. Okay, thank you. Hello, good night, everyone. Hello. My name is uh, Jorge Alberto Martinez. I live in Son Sonate. I like to be called Albert. And my favorite food is Italian food and my and I live uh, with my mom. She's name is Eva. Oh, good. Excellent. Very good. Give me another name. We're almost done. Um. Eduardo Andres. Okay, thank you. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Eduardo Andres. I am 32 years old and I am electrician. I work to uh, telecommunications. And the hobbies and listen to music and visit to place with my family. Oh, good, excellent. Another name? Roxana Cedillo. Okay, thank you. Hello, everybody. Hello. My name is Roxana Alemo. I live in I appreciate to be with you. I hope to learn a lot. Okay, very good, excellent. Another name? Susana Rodriguez. Uh, she is done. Ella ya estuvo. Mercedes Elena. Okay, thank you. Hi, my name is Elena. I live in San Salvador. I work in a, a, a study in the University of El Salvador. Okay. And, um, my hobby is reading book and listen to music. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So I think we have uh, one more, if I am not wrong. So we're going to end with uh, Jose Alcides. Uh, your microphone is off. Okay. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hello, my name is Jose Asis Leiva. Just call me Leiva or Jose. I am from San Salvador and I currently live in San Salvador. Uh, my best friend uh, called Irving and I'm Charlie. Um, I usually see him uh, every week. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Um, you are doing a great job. Excellent job. So thank you for your participation. You are doing 
good. So we are going to continue with other topic. In this case, we are not going to use the uh, presentation or the introduction. In this case, we are going to begin with grammatical topics. So we're going to begin with the part that is not like um, kind of funny, but we are going to learn a lot of things in this case. So I know that you have uh, listened or you uh, know something about these kind of topics, but in this case, we are, like, we are going to do something like a review and we are going to learn more things about the topics that we are going to uh, see in this course. Vamos a tratar de hacer como un refuerzo de los temas que ya sabemos, son temas gramaticales que sabemos que son muy importantes a la hora de aprender el idioma. So, in this case, we are going to see the second topic. But let me go to the uh, document. Because we are going to see something related to topic number two. In the first one, we have just like a practice. In this case, we are just going to listen information. We are going to see some uh, ideas here on the document. So we are going to begin with the topic that is called possessive adjectives. We already know what are the possessive adjectives, I think. And also we know that we have the subject or the pronoun we have the object, we have the possessive adjective, and we have different elements that we are going to use to express different ideas when we are uh, talking in English. So in this case, I'm going to begin with a table. In this case, it's like a short, um, like information in which I need to add this one. in which we are going to see uh, what are the words that we are going to use in this topic. So we are going to have here, ah, in this case, I'm going to move this one to the next page, good. Okay, we are going to have here in the first one, the subject. Next, we are going to have the object. And also we're going to see the possessive adjective. So in this case, in the subject, we already know that uh, we are going to use the pronouns. So in this case, we have I, you, he, she, and we, and they. In this case, we are not going to write again the plural of you. In this case, we already know that we are going to use the same thing for a singular and plural form. Then we have the object, me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. In this case, it's when we, um, we are not like the person that is performing the action. In this case, we are the object of the sentence. So in that case, we have this form too. Now, what is the thing that we are going to learn today, how to use the possessive adjective. But what are the different possessive adjectives that we have in English? In this case, we have the following uh, possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, its, our, and their. Estos son los eh, possessive adjectives, estos son los que vamos a estar utilizando. Nos vamos a enfocar en estos que están acá. Well, let me see if I can mark this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, in this case, we are not going to see the following things. Okay, eh, I'm going to do it like this. So we're going to focus on the possessive adjective. We are going to see what are the uses that we can give to this information. So we use the possessive adjectives. Two, and we have the first use. 
For the first one, we're going to use the possessive adjectives to show something belongs to somebody. That is like um, the basic use that we can give to these possessive adjectives. Este es como la, el uso más básico que nosotros le podemos dar a los eh, possessive adjectives. Este es el que nosotros ya nos, nos conocemos, ya no sabemos, porque estamos hablando de la posesión, de que algo le pertenece a alguien y es como el que más que todo nosotros utilizamos. So, in this case, we have an example, and it says, that is our house. That is our house. Esa es nuestra casa. Oh, my car is very old. My car is very old. And we have here the possessive adjectives. In this case, our house. And in the next, next one, my car. Next one, poor relations and friends. Para relaciones o amistades. So, in this case, we have the following examples. My mother is a doctor. My mother is a doctor. The next one, how old is your sister? How old is your sister? So in this case, we have here the first one, my mother. And in the next one, your sister. Aquí estamos hablando de miembros de nuestra familia. Estamos hablando de nuestra madre y también de nuestra hermana. ¿Para qué más vamos a utilizar esto? To talk about parts of the body. Parts of the body. And we have the example. And we have, his, uh, he broke his arm. His arm. She's washing her hair. I need to clean my tear. So in this case, we are talking about our body. Or in this case, the body in general. Okay, in this case, when we are using these possessive adjectives, we are not going to use the apostrophe in some of these, um, these words. For example, when we are using it, we are not going to use the apostrophe because it is not related to the possessive. Cuando estemos utilizando los posesivos, en el caso de it, que ya lo veíamos, que es el, el adjetivo posesivo de it, aquí ya no estamos diciendo it is, en este caso es it, Así como lo vemos ahí, ¿verdad? No necesitamos agregarle un apóstrofe a esa parte. So, in this case, it is like we are not going to uh, have a, a very different information. It is not like a uh, kind of complicated. 
but we are going to. <coughs> I'm sorry. We're going to have like um an exercise in this case. Because it is not like very complicated. It's kind of uh, understandable, uh, this kind of topic, because you already know something about this. So we are going to see some exercises related to this topic. But give me a moment because I'm going to put some images there on the document in which you are going to find the exercise. Okay, I'm going to do it where I have two different um, images for you. Yes, just two. They are enough. But give me a moment. I'm going to uh, put the images on the document. So I'm going to take this out. Give me a second because I'm going to put the images on the document. Okay, we have two different images and I'm going to show you the first one. And you are going to read the sentences and then you are going to help me with the answer. You are going to tell me what is the correct answer for each of these statements. So you have here the, uh, the phrases and then you are going to tell me what is the possessive adjective that we are using for every sentence. Aquí ustedes me van a ayudar a, a colocarle el adjetivo posesivo que corresponde a cada uno de ellos. Ya vimos cuáles son, ya vemos a qué personas o qué pronombres corresponden. Tenemos cinco minutos para esto, para completar esta parte. If we are not, um, or we don't have enough time to complete the second one, don't worry, we are going to do it tomorrow. So you can read this one slowly, you can think about the answer, and then you are going to help me with this information. So it is 8.51. Yes, we are going to have like 50, yes, like five minutes. Vamos a tener cinco minutos para contestar. So let's go.
Okay, we are almost done with the time. We just have three minutes to complete the first session. So we are going to see what are the answers or what are the possessive adjectives that correspond to every statement. So we have in the first one, he is my friend. What is the possessive adjective that we are going to use? Him, his. Oh, very you. good. His, his okay. name is Brian. Excellent. In this case, we are going to use the possessive adjective his. Porque estamos hablando de él es mi amigo, su nombre es. Nos referimos a él. So, his name is Brian. Next one. Susan has got a new car. Your, my car is new. Your, car. your car. Your car. It's... Okay, we are talking about Susan. Ah, her. very good. Her, her, car, her, car, nice. is her, her, her nice. car is very nice. Her car is very nice. We're going to have here. One is he is. Two, I mean, two is her. Very good. Her car is very nice. They don't like fish. They don't like fish. Their favorite food. Excellent. They are. They are. Excellent. Their favorite they food is a stick because we are talking about they. Tenemos que fijarnos en el sujeto al principio de la oración. Muy bien. This is my brother. Is. Ah. His name is me. His two. His okay. name. His name. name. Very good. His name is Nick. Excellent. Nice. Next one. It's birthday my. today. My birthday. My birthday. Ah, excellent. My birthday today. Very good. That is my cousin. That is my cousin. Name is Maggie. Her name. Her name Maggie. is Maggie. Okay. Her name is Maggie. Estamos hablando de nuestra prima. Manuel has got two daughters. They are daughters. Her. They are. They are. Estamos hablando de Manuel. His. 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 They are yes. his daughters. Son sus hijas. My. Exactly. My. Okay, next one. Kate and Gary have got a new house. Kate and Gary. We are talking about two people. And are. It's. They are. They, ah, they are. Very good. Is their house. They Excellent. Next one. Uh, this is my bike. Bike. It's, ah, it's, 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 it's new. My, it's new. My bike is new. Estamos hablando it's de new. mi bicicleta. Yes. Okay. Number 10. Let's see. It said, they are my parents. They are my parents. They Ellos son they mis padres. Are, they, Excellent. They are. Excellent. They are. Excellent. They are. They are. Yes. Their names are Kate and Steven. My dog is black. My dog. Estamos hablando del perro. It's. 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 Excellent. En este caso, eh, podemos utilizar también her and his, porque si nosotros los consideramos parte de nuestra familia, también podemos utilizar el ella y el él con los animales. Pero en este caso, nos vamos a quedar con el it's. Next one. Um, Margaret, where is? Your sister. Your sister. Your sister. Your sister. Excellent. Your sister. We are almost done. We have got two children. Tenemos dos niños. Our children are in London. Very good. Lisbon is a big city. Estamos hablando de una ciudad. Excellent. It's. Very good. And the last one. She is my mother. Her name. Her name. Excellent. Her name is Maria. Okay, very good. So we are going to end the session here and we are going to continue with the other exercise tomorrow. Vamos a continuar con el otro ejercicio mañana. Así que nos quedamos acá y nos vemos el día de mañana. Goodbye and have a good night, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye
Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.